Hi there, in today's video, I'll show you how to embed Google Business Profile on your WordPress for free, which may help your business or your website to attract more visitors. First, I'll show you my target Google Business Profile, the Sociable Kit. It is a software company with over 4.9 ratings. To embed it on my website, first, I'll go to Sociable Kit website. If you don't have an account yet, you can click the sign up button to create an account. Since I already set up my account, I'll just click the login button to open my account. And this is my Sociable Kit account. To start creating a widget, I'll click the Create Widget button. In this page, it will show you the first step on how to create a widget. By clicking this field, you can search or type the widget that you're going to create. Since I'm going to create a Google Business Profile, I'll try to search and type it. Select this widget, Google Business Profile. Next is, I will search the Sociable Kit Google Place. It seems Sociable Kit Google Place is not on the drop down, so I'll try to click this option and enter its place ID manually. For this step by step guide, you can click this What's This link. To get the place ID, I'll go back to Sociable Kit Google Profile and click the share icon and click the embed amount. Go to reviews count, right click and choose inspect. This is where the place ID is located. To copy it, just right click and edit as HTML to easily copy the ID. Right click and copy. I'll go back to place ID field and paste it. The place ID is already pasted. I will customize the feed now by clicking the next button. And there, this is the customization page where the feed is displayed. Sometimes there is also a blue message here that it says the feed takes time to load. So you just have to wait and refresh the page. Let's check now the feature. In the basic tab, you can customize here your widget name. This is also where your domain, your business type, special hours, and place ID is located. In the Themes tab, you can change here your theme or the background color of your feed. Let's test it. For example, we choose my IOS theme, click Yes, and it automatically saves the options that I choose without clicking this button. Wow, I think this theme looks good on my feed and as well on my website, so I'll just keep it. Next feature is Profile. In this tab, it allows you to show or hide your profile picture, your Google name, your reviews count, and the rest of the feature here. Let's test one of the feature. For example, I want to hide the profile picture. I will uncheck this feature and click Save Changes button. And there, the profile picture is already removed or hide. I think it looks good on my theme, but I prefer there is a profile picture, so I will try to bring it back by checking this feature again and click save changes button and you can also customize the details the colors the fonts the text the buttons and we also have a custom css feature that you can use for advanced widget customization and if you have trouble using all these features and need further assistance you can always click this icon for support live chat and help this And let's go now to the most exciting part by clicking the Embed on Website button. Since my website builder is WordPress, I'll click the WordPress. I'll copy the JavaScript code and go to WordPress dashboard panel. As you can see, this is my existing page where I will embed the code. And if you want to embed your code to a different page or create a new page, that is also possible. I will embed the code now. I will click this block and choose custom html and next i will paste the embed code that i copied from the social bucket dashboard 
before we check the preview, let's click the save button first. After it's saved, let's click now the preview. And there, this is the preview of the feed. To check the actual page, let's try to view it by clicking this icon and click view site. And that's it! The feed is already displayed on my website. That's how easy you can embed a widget using Sociable Kit. And I will try to check this button if it will be redirected to Google. And it works! Let's try the Google name, Sociable Kit. And it's the same, it will be re redirected to Google. And there, everything is displayed and working. Thank you for watching and let me know if this tutorial is helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.